Now, if we're dealing with a definite integral with integration by substitution, that means we have limits. And so, that adds an extra layer of complexity to the problem. So, let's see exactly where things have to change. If we're starting with u is equal to x minus 5, then I find du by dx first. So, du by dx will be equal to 2. Then you can rearrange that to get dx is equal to 1 half du. So, I now have a replacement for 2x minus 5, and I have a replacement for dx, which initially appears to be all the substitutions that I need to make. The problem is that I'm integrating on the x-axis between 1 and 2. Okay? So there's 1, there's 2. But I'm not actually working with the x-axis anymore. I've made a substitution. I'm now working with the u-axis. And so, I'm not going to be working with 1 and 2 anymore. I need to change the limits. So when x is 1, I can substitute that into this to find my value of u. So when x is 1, I get 2 take away 5, so that's minus 3. And when x is 2, 2 lots of 2 take away 5 is minus 1. So actually, for the u-axis, I've got minus 3 and minus 1. Okay? So, I need to change the limits in order to integrate. Now, depending on um, your teacher, they may not change the limits, in which case you would substitute back in at the end. This way, I, I don't need to substitute back in, as we'll see. So, what I've now got is an integral between um, minus 3 and minus 1, where I've now got u to the 4, and dx was replaced with 1 half du. So I can pull the half out the front, I can then integrate this, so I'm using square brackets because I'm with a definite integral, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, Now, I can bring that half inside if I like, now. Now, it's at this stage where, depending on whether you've changed the limits or not, if you haven't changed the limits, then you can substitute u back in. But because we've changed the limits, I can just substitute minus 1 and minus 3 in now, and that will be my final answer. So this is equal to 1 tenth times minus 1 to the power of 5, take away 1 tenth times minus 3 to the power of 5. Okay, so we get our calculator to do that. So we've got uh, minus 1 to the power of 5 is minus 1, so minus 1 tenth. Take away 1 tenth times by minus 3 to the power of 5. So that's 121 over 5. And that is my final answer. So the changing of the limits stops you from having to substitute back in at the end. And I feel it's actually quicker because of it. We're going to go through some examples in the next few videos. Of